ഹലോ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു ബയോ സയൻസ് ആർക്ക് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി സ്കൈ ഓൺ എ ഡാർക്ക് ക്ലിയർ നൈറ്റ് യു സി ദി എൻഡിയർ സ്കൈ ഡോട്ടഡ് വിത്ത് കൗണ്ട്ലെസ് സ്റ്റാർസ് സം ബ്രൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സം നോട്ട് സോ ബ്രൈറ്റ് ഒബ്സേർവ് ദം കെയർഫുള്ളി ഡു ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദം എപ്പിയർ ടു ട്വിങ്കിൾ ഡു യു ഫൈൻഡ് എനി സ്റ്റാർ ലൈക്ക് ഒബ്ജെക്ട് വിച്ച് ഡസ് നോട്ട് ട്വിങ്കിൾ ദി ഒബ്ജെക്ട്സ് which do not twinkle are planets children today we will study about the solar system the solar system the sun and the celestial bodies which revolve around it form the solar system it consists of large number of bodies such as planets comets asteroids and meteors the gravitational attraction between the sun and these objects keeps them revolving around it the eight planets in their order of distance from the sun are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune the sun is the nearest star from us it is continuously emitting huge amounts of heat and light the sun is the source of almost all energy on the earth In fact the sun is the main source of heat and light for all the planets children do you know why the planets do not collide while revolving around the sun because planets move in their own orbits besides revolving around the sun a planet also rotates on its own axis the time taken by a planet to complete one rotation is called its period of rotation we use the term satellite for the bodies revolving around planets moon is a satellite of the earth there are many man made satellites revolving around the earth these are called artificial satellites aryabhatta was the first indian satellite let us see the planets mercury the planet mercury is the nearest to the sun it is the smallest planet of our solar system it can be visible before the sunrise in the east and after the sunset in the west it revolves around the sun in 88 days and it takes 58 days to complete one rotation on its axis life cannot exist on mercury due to lack of atmosphere and extreme temperature and it has no protective blanket around it to save it from harmful radiations it has no moon or satellite of its own venus is earth's nearest planetary neighbor it completes its orbit around the sun in 225 days it is the brightest planet and appears as a morning and evening star The surface temperature of Venus is about 450 degrees Celsius and it is covered by thick blanket of cloud made up of carbon dioxide, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. No life is possible on this planet because of high temperature, absence of water and insufficient oxygen. It has no moon. or satellite of its own children do you know which is the hottest planet venus is the hottest planet do you know the reason the carbon dioxide traps most of the heat from the sun venus contains a high percentage of carbon dioxide due to which it is hottest planet the earth is the only planet in the solar system on which life is known to exist it has plenty of water oxygen in the atmosphere and is neither too cold nor too hot making life possible on this planet it takes 365 one by 4 days to complete one revolution around the sun and 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis earth rotates on a tilted axis The tilt is responsible for the change of seasons on the earth. The earth has only one moon. From space 
the earth appears blue green due to the reflection of light from water and land mass on its surface the next planet is mars it takes 687 days to complete one revolution around the sun and 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis it has reddish appearance therefore it is also called red planet it has two natural satellites jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system it takes 12 years to complete one revolution around the sun it has dozen satellites or moons four of them are quite large and bright after jupiter saturn is the second biggest planet of the solar system it possesses well developed set of rings around it saturn also has a large number of satellites it takes about 29.5 years to complete one revolution around the sun it is said to have 30 satellites or moons of its own uranus is the seventh planet from the sun it takes 84 years to complete one revolution around the sun it has 21 satellites or moons of its own it rotates about its axis from east to west in contrast to other planets which rotate from west to east its atmosphere contains hydrogen and methane neptune is the eighth planet in terms of its distance from the sun it has eight satellites revolving around it it takes 165 years to complete one revolution around the sun the first four planets mercury venus earth and mars are much nearer the sun than other four planets they are called the inner planets the planets outside the orbit of mars namely jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are much farther off than the inner planets they are called the outer planets children there are some other bodies which revolve around the sun they are also members of the solar system let us learn about some of them asteroids there is a large gap in between the orbits of mars and jupiter this gap is occupied by a large number of small objects that revolve around the sun these are called asteroids comets are also members of our solar system they revolve around the sun a comet appears generally as a bright head with a long tail one of the example is halley's comet which appears after nearly every 76 years a meteor is usually a small heavenly object moving around the sun when a meteor occasionally enters the earth's atmosphere it gets heated up because of friction and glows but evaporates in a very short period of time that is why they appear as a bright streak in the sky otherwise it is also called shooting stars some meteors are so large that a part of them reaches the surface of the earth before they evaporate completely these are called meteorites children i am winding up today's class before going let me say one thing please subscribe and share my video we will meet in the next video thank you and have a nice day